Previously on Theo the Tiny Bug. This is a dust balloon. This is the best big adventure ever. It's Nathan. I thought I'd come and get a sample of pond water to investigate under my microscope. What? Oh, I seem to have landed in your hair. What? There. Now Theo is safely back home on his slide. Thank you. Well, look at what I found in the pond. So that's how we left it last time. And finally, I'm going to see what I found in the pot. Ah, the moment we've all been waiting for. So to start with, I need some clean slides. Just going to make sure they're beautifully clean. Because obviously any bits of dust or anything on the slide will show up under the microscope. Um, and we're not here to look at dust, we're here to look at stuff from the pond. He makes a good point. So. Use a pipette to take some sample and just drop it, a drop on each side. And then I take a cover slip, a clean cover slip, and just making sure I get rid of all fingerprints and bits of dust off the cover slips before I put them on, because otherwise that might block out what we actually want to see. Marvellous. My first slide is going onto the microscope stage. And now let's have a look. Oh, we need the light on. There we go. There'll always be bits of something on the slide. So if you move it around as you try and focus in the right place. If it's not in focus, you'll just see bits that are on the lenses uh, and they won't move. So that's how you know whether you're looking at the slide or just something stuck on the lens. You probably won't find anything in the first drop. You're only saying that because you didn't. Basically, you just need to be patient. And eventually you should find something. Now here's something that looks interesting. It looks like cyanobacterium filaments. So they're bacteria, but they work a bit like plants because they take energy from the sun to make their food. And they're green like plants as well. You can see a green, nice green strand and if I focus properly, you can see that it's made up of lots of, looks like lots of little slices, and each one of those slices is a single cell. So there are lots of bacterial cells that work together as a filament to uh, get as much energy as possible. Right, here's another slide, and I've found a bit of stuff on this one. But look, something's just swum past. Now that is exciting. Right, got to find that again. Wow. Isn't it crazy to think that in a drop of water that looks just, well, you can't see anything in it, there are actual animals swimming around that are so small you would never know they were there. Yet with a microscope, you can look at them. Look, you can see their insides moving. They're just completely see-through. So these animals are called wheel animals, or rotifers to use their slightly posher name. And they're called that because their front end, it looks as if they've got a wheel spinning round. Now actually that's got 
tiny little hair-like um, things called cilia, which spin round and let the animal move through the water. Uh, so I guess they're not technically wheels, but they do look a bit like it, don't they? So you do need quite a lot of patience, normally, to find what you're looking for. But it's, isn't it amazing? Those, those animals just swimming around without a care in the world. You know what else is amazing? Those monsters are a whole lot bigger than me. I wouldn't like to get in their way. I'm just going to let you know now how I actually video what's under the microscope because I think you'll find it quite interesting. So for this you need quite a small lens but you need to be able to zoom in to take pictures down the microscope and for that this normal compact camera is ideal. Set it onto video and then I just zoom in a bit and then I hold it so that it's pointing down the microscope and I can focus change the focus and move the slide so we're not actually looking at any animals or anything on here this is so interesting but you can see I move the slide and I can focus There we are. Cool, huh? So that's my microscope. And he's gone. Happy 90th birthday, David Attenborough. Bye.